In the complex terrain of human physiology, glycation arises as a biochemical process with profound implications for health and aging. Glycation occurs when sugars, particularly glucose, react with proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids in the body, leading to the formation of advanced glycation end products, ages. These ages play a pivotal role in driving oxidative stress, inflammation, and tissue damage, contributing to the pathogenesis of chronic diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, and cancer, as well as the aging process itself. The consequences of glycation are multifaceted and far-reaching, affecting various physiological systems and processes. At the cellular level, glycation disrupts the structure and function of proteins, impairing their ability to carry out essential biological functions. This protein damage accumulates over time, contributing to the aging process and the development of age-related diseases. Furthermore, ages can trigger inflammatory responses and oxidative stress, perpetuating a cycle of tissue damage and dysfunction that underlies the pathogenesis of chronic diseases. Given the detrimental effects of glycation on health and longevity, strategies to mitigate its impact have garnered considerable interest. One such strategy that has gained traction in recent years is the carnivore diet, a dietary regimen that emphasizes the consumption of animal-derived foods while excluding plant-based foods. Proponents of the carnivore diet argue that it can help combat glycation by minimizing carbohydrate intake, thereby reducing the substrate available for glycation reactions. To understand the potential role of the carnivore diet in mitigating glycation, it is essential to delve into the biochemical mechanisms underlying glycation and the physiological effects of dietary interventions. Glycation occurs when sugars, particularly glucose, react with amino groups on proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids through a series of complex chemical reactions. This non-enzymatic process leads to the formation of ages, which accumulate in tissues and exert their deleterious effects over time. The formation of ages is accelerated under conditions of hyperglycemia, where elevated blood glucose levels provide ample substrate for glycation reactions. Consequently, individuals with poorly controlled diabetes are particularly vulnerable to the detrimental effects of glycation. However, glycation is not limited to diabetic individuals, it occurs to some extent in all organisms as part of the natural aging process. The carnivore diet, characterized by its emphasis on animal-derived foods and exclusion of plant-based foods, represents a unique approach to dietary intervention that may influence glycation and metabolic health. Proponents of the carnivore diet suggest that by minimizing carbohydrate intake and promoting metabolic flexibility, it can help attenuate the effects of glycation and improve overall health outcomes. Several studies have explored the effects of carbohydrate restriction, a key principle of the carnivore diet, on markers of glycation and metabolic health. In a pilot study published in the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism, researchers investigated the effects of a ketogenic diet, which shares similarities with the carnivore diet in terms of carbohydrate restriction, on markers of oxidative stress and inflammation. The study found that participants following the ketogenic diet experienced reductions in markers of oxidative stress and inflammation, suggesting a potential role in mitigating the effects of glycation. Similarly, a study published in the journal Nutrients examined the effects of a low-carbohydrate diet, which aligns with the principles of the carnivore diet, on markers of glycation and cardiovascular risk factors in individuals with type 2 diabetes. The study found that participants following the low-carbohydrate diet experienced improvements in glycemic control, insulin sensitivity, and markers of cardiovascular risk, including reductions in glycation markers such as ages and oxidized LDL cholesterol. Furthermore, a randomized controlled trial published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition compared the effects of a low-carbohydrate diet and a low-fat diet on markers of glycation and cardiovascular risk factors in overweight and obese individuals. The study found that participants following the low-carbohydrate diet experienced greater reductions in glycated hemoglobin HbA1c, levels, a marker of long-term blood glucose control, compared to those following the low-fat diet. Additionally, participants following the low-carbohydrate diet experienced improvements in other markers of cardiovascular risk, including reductions in triglycerides and increases in HDL cholesterol. 
While these studies provide promising insights into the potential benefits of carbohydrate restriction in mitigating the effects of glycation and improving metabolic health, it's essential to consider the broader context of the carnivore diet. Critics raise concerns about the exclusion of plant-based foods, which may deprive individuals of essential nutrients, fiber, and phytonutrients that play vital roles in health maintenance and disease prevention. Additionally, the high intake of saturated fat and cholesterol associated with the carnivore diet raises concerns regarding cardiovascular health. Moreover, the sustainability and ethical implications of the carnivore diet raise ethical concerns, as it relies heavily on animal agriculture, which has significant environmental and animal welfare ramifications. As such, the adoption of the carnivore diet as a long-term dietary strategy warrants careful consideration and further research to fully understand its implications for health, sustainability, and ethical considerations. In conclusion, glycation represents a formidable challenge in the quest for health and longevity, with its pervasive effects permeating various aspects of physiology and aging. While the carnivore diet may offer a potential avenue for mitigating the impact of glycation by minimizing carbohydrate intake and promoting metabolic flexibility, its long-term implications for health, sustainability, and ethical considerations warrant careful scrutiny and further research. As we navigate the complexities of dietary interventions, it is imperative to strike a balance between innovation and evidence-based practice, ensuring that our dietary choices align with both individual health goals and broader ethical and environmental imperatives. If you enjoy this video subscribe your support is highly appreciate, and watch my other video on surviving the first 30 days of carnivore, thank you for watching.